Jenna, thanks. Facing a serious situation, that's the word from the Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control and Adoption Center. And as the damage from Hurricane Helene continues to be felt down south, animal evacuees may soon flood into an area of an already strained rescue system. Currently, TJO is overloaded with dogs just on the local level, many of which are looking to be adopted. Tonight, a look at why so many animals are at the shelter and what you can do to help. As of Monday, there were more than 52 dogs housed at the Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control and Adoption Center in Springfield, with 11 up for adoption on their website. A large number to say the least, and it's an amount that workers and volunteers are looking to reduce to a more manageable level for their limited space and resources. But first, Heather K. Elaine, the interim executive director at TJO, tells Western Mass News people surrendering their pets need to be more forthcoming about their situations. If for some reason you can't keep your pet, the best thing you can do is to be honest and to tell us what's really going on so we can move them through the system quicker. She tells us many of the dogs were brought in as strays in the greater Springfield area. And traditionally, to alleviate overcrowding, they're transferred out. But other shelters and rescues are also dealing with similar situations. Too many dogs and not enough room, especially in light of the damage left behind by Hurricane Helene. We have been reaching out to rescue partners like crazy. We're looking at trying to do an adoption event. We had several fee waived events this summer and that was very helpful, um, but we're finding that numbers aren't coming down. As a municipally funded animal shelter, they focus solely on animals from Chicopee, Springfield and Holyoke. And at the moment, even if they wanted to help out with animals coming north from storm devastated areas, it would be impossible. And right now the need in those three cities is so great. Um, I don't think we would even need to take from other places. We should note that TJO does not euthanize for space and they want to keep it that way. So for more information on how you can adopt an animal or donate to TJO, just head over to their website, TJ O'Connor Adoption Center, all one word, dot com. And Western Mass News.